Welcome to our lecture online. So here we have a quadratic equation. We're trying to solve it, which means we're trying to find the values for x that make the left side equal to the right side. But the question is, what method should we use? And of course, we know that the quadratic formula works every single time. But sometimes we can do things more quickly by either quickly factoring the problem or by using the completion of the square method. So let's go ahead and try all three methods to see which one is the best. Now we'll notice that we can't always factor it, and this may be one of those cases, but we're going to find out. So if we're going to factor it, it will look as follows. We're going to have the product of two binomials set equal to zero. On the left side here, we need an x and an x because x times x gives us x squared. On the right side, we have a negative 2. We can only get a negative 2 by having a positive 1 and a negative 2, or a negative 2 and a positive 1. So how about a negative 1 and a positive 2, or it could be x minus 2 times x plus 1. So those are the only two possibilities. And notice that in neither case am I going to get a minus 4x in the middle because this will give us a minus x plus 2x, which is a plus 1x, and this gives me minus 2x plus 1x, which is a minus 1x. So neither one of these two methods help. Or in other words, neither one of those two possible ways of factoring it helps, so we can't factor it. That's not one of the good methods to use. How about completion of the square method? Well, we can try that. So we have x squared minus 4x minus 2 equals 0. Since we have a 1 in front of the x squared term, the first step will be moving the 2 across. So we have x squared minus 4x is equal to a positive 2. Then we take half the middle term or half the coefficient of the middle term and square it and add it to both sides. So we have x squared minus 4x minus 2. Well, actually, it'll be, we're going to be adding it. So <clears throat> that will be plus a minus 2 squared equals 2 plus a minus 2 squared. I put in the negative sign, even though we squared and it disappears, just so you can see that we're doing the right thing. So this becomes x squared minus 4x minus 4 is equal to 2 plus, oh, no, 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 that will be two, minus 2 squared, that's a plus 4. So plus 4 equals 2 plus 4. And then we can go ahead and we can take the, uh, not take the square root, but we can factor this. So this becomes x squared minus 2 quantity squared. So factoring meaning, since this is a perfect square, we can simply write as the square of a binomial. And of course, this will be x minus 2 quantity squared is equal to 2 plus 4, which is 6. And at this point, I can take the square root of both sides. So it becomes x minus 2 is equal to plus or minus the square root of 6. And then finally, when I move the 2 across, I get x is equal to 2 plus or minus the square root of 6, which give me the two solutions to that particular quadratic equation. So that wasn't so bad doing the uh, completing the square method. Now, what would it look like if we were to use a quadratic formula? Well, first we need to identify a, b, and c. So I have a is equal to 1, b is equal to negative 4, and c is equal to negative 2. We go ahead and plug those into our equation. So we have x is equal to minus b, which is a minus times a minus 4, plus or minus the square root of minus 4 squared, which is b squared, minus 4 times a, which is 1, times c, which is negative 2, all divided by 2 times a. And now we have to simplify that. So we have x is equal to minus times the minus, which is 4, plus, the, plus or minus the square root of 16, minus 4 times the minus 2, that gives me plus 8, all divided by 2. Continuing, we have x is equal to 4, plus or minus the square root of 24, divided by 2. And we can write this as x is equal to 4, plus or minus the square root of 4, times the square root of 6, because 4 times 6 is 24, divided by 2. And then we can write this as x is equal to 4 plus or minus 2 uh, times the square root of 6 over 2. And then divide the 2 in both terms in the numerator. So we have x is equal to 2 plus or minus the square root of 6. And that is therefore the same result as what we got over there. It makes us feel pretty comfortable and pretty... Uh, <coughs> positive about the fact that those are probably the two solutions for our quadratic formula. 
So we had three methods to choose from in this case. We could choose factoring, which didn't work because we could not factor it. Then we tried the completing the square method, and we got this result, and we tried using the quadratic formula. Notice that completing the square method, the quadratic formula will always give you the right answer. Well, if you don't make a mistake, but will always work, I should say. Factoring is the fastest way, but it doesn't always work. In this case, there was no nice solution that we were able to factor. And so you can see that it's really up to you to decide what method to use. Now, if this was a test and they didn't tell you what method to use, it's not a bad idea to try it two different ways to see if you get the same answer. And that way, if the answer is the same, you're pretty confident that it's correct. If the answer is different, then at least you know that you need to do it again to see if you can come up with the right answer. And that is how it's done.